What's up creatives? Welcome to the Tiffy Show. If you haven't, make sure that you turn on notifications so that you know when I post a video. Today we're going to be doing a travel video on my trip to Thailand and we're going to be talking about the Phuket portion of my trip. So if you haven't, go back and watch the Bangkok portion of my trip and then follow me and visit me to Phuket, which is what we're going to do today. So here we are, we're going to talk about my tips on visiting Phuket, Thailand. We traveled from Bangkok to Phuket, which was a pretty short flight. Then from the airport, we traveled by one of their like van, taxi cars to our hotel. That was a bit of a trek. Um, I, for some strange reason, I didn't know. I thought Phuket was the size of like some small little Catalina Island. I thought it was small. I don't know, I don't know these things, that's why I'm traveling. And so I thought everything was pretty, you know, easy to get to. Phuket is huge, you guys. It is very, very big. And so just know where your hotel is in relation to things. You're probably going to have to drive a long way though to get to the main hub of hotels, just like I did, which is fine, because you're going to see the landscapes, you're gonna see locals, you're gonna see what, like, cows and chickens walking on the street and wild dogs. So it's very entertaining and you're so excited. You honestly don't notice the time go by and the van is nice and air conditioned and comfortable. So, you know, you'll be fine. We stayed at the Hilton and loved it. It was really, really big. Uh, it was so big we needed a trolley to get to from our room places within the hotel, which was interesting. But it was super, super pretty. It had like three pools all connected um, by different like waterways. It also had like an adult separate pool that had like a bar situation and a club feel. And then the one that had more family vibe. The coolest part of our hotel, uh, other than the view, which was magnificent, was the fact that they didn't mention how, so the whole time we're walking around, like how are we gonna get to the beach? This is crazy, like do we have to walk down? Because Phuket's very hilly, there's a lot of hills. So you'll see hotels on hills and there's no beach access. And probably the second day we stumbled upon a walkway that literally led out to the sand and a private beach. So we basically, not a private beach, but it was empty except for us. And it was an amazing experience to have a beach where no one but your group of friends is hanging out and it was, amazing and probably one of my most favorite parts of Phuket. So make sure you get a hotel that has some kind of beach access for you. And the Hilton definitely gave that to us. So it was A plus in my book. Plus the pools were a lot of fun. I mean, my favorite part of Phuket was definitely being anywhere in the water, whether a pool or a beach. One of my favorite parts about the Hilton was their pool had a slide. Oh, you don't know how I miss slides at pools. Do you remember when you were little and you would go to vacation with your parents and they just always had a slide at the pool? Okay, I'm about to go down the water slide. If I can get there. The Hilton has a slide and I'm pretty sure it was for kids, but we got on it, no problem, nobody said anything and it was a blast. So definitely recommend if you stay at the Hilton, get on the slide, enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Now, remember you're going from city life to beach life. Just make sure you know that ahead of time. So Bangkok is very city, traffic, things are open all the time, walk around. Phuket is more of a laid back beach vibe. So you might have to walk around late at night to find something that's open for food. Um, the prices are a little bit more touristy in Phuket because they're used to tourists. So things are a little bit more expensive. So I would buy all my souvenirs in Bangkok and not really buy as many in Phuket unless you really, really fall in love with something because it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. The food is really, really good. Uh, my favorite restaurant is Red Chair. I would have ate there every night if I could. Uh, if you find a good restaurant that treats you well, it's okay in Thailand to eat there every single day because you always wanna just be safe and like, have food that's not gonna jack up your stomach or make you feel weird. A must see, one of my favorite things that you have to do is visit an elephant sanctuary. You see how I said elephant sanctuary. That means that these are elephants that are rescued, that you do not ride on. Do not ride on an elephant if you visit Thailand. Do not 
I also have an issue with, you know, the tiger situation. I did not visit at any places that let you pet tigers or let you see tigers or any shows that had tigers or elephants in them. And I recommend that you don't either, but especially if you do wanna see elephants, which is a great opportunity, do your research, find an elephant sanctuary that is no ride, that has good reviews that people, you know, that have a good reputation of taking care of their elephants. And you can go, you can feed them, shout, like bathe them, swim with them, do it. It's a little grody. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and lie. No one else is gonna tell you this. It's grody, but you know what? Suck it up because it's amazing. So you're gonna be walking around in mud, mud pee water <laughs> with the elephants, but you're gonna love it and you're gonna enjoy it and then you're gonna wash off anyway. So enjoy the experience. Uh, again, the elephant sanctuaries are probably not gonna be close to your hotel. I just wanna warn you because no one warned me. You're going to, they're going to pick you up from your hotel depending on what elephant sanctuary you pick and they're going to ride you on like a open concept truck and it is very windy in Phuket and it's very long ride. So just know that ahead of time in case you get car sick or anything, be prepared that that is, a, that is a trek, but it is worth it in the end and you will enjoy your time with the elephants. I did a half day with the elephants, more than enough for me. <laughs> um, I'm not saying that's not a bad thing, it was just more than enough for me. I loved it and then I went back to my hotel and swam in the pool, so it was a lot of fun. So that's what I suggest. Elephant Sanctuary, do not ride the elephants. A no ride elephant sanctuary is your best friend. PP Islands, visit the PP Islands. I did a tour. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know how, so I did a tour. It had a lot of people on it and it visited all the PP Islands and they were amazing. Like PP Island snorkeling, it is crazy. It's so much fun, worth it. Uh, I would highly suggest, cause I don't want you to do the same tour that I did. So I'm not even gonna tell you what tour I did, but I'm gonna tell you how to do a tour. Get a group of friends, book a private kind of situation tour, or take a water taxi there so that you are on your own and you're not with like strangers or anything like that. So you have that experience with your friends. If I, not saying if, when I go back to Thailand, I'm definitely gonna do more of a private situation in terms of visiting the PP Islands, but Super, super fun, worth it. One reason that I wouldn't do it on a tourist boat situation is just because you're going to be with a group of people for a very long time and it can get pretty crowded on the boat. On top of that, you are talking about a trip that's hours because you're, you're basically island jumping. And so just to make it more comfortable for you, so you're not with a group that might have screaming children or nothing wrong with screaming children, but just like an overcrowded group or a group that you feel like, wow, I wish I was just with my friends because you're just with people for a long time so i would just highly suggest that you do it with just your friends and split the cost and find some kind of situation where you can do it privately but you are going to love it uh, my favorite part of that trip was snorkeling it was so much fun the water's warm you see the fish underneath you it's just a very you know eye-opening and beautiful experience so definitely do it enjoy yourself and even if you have to take the group you know, tourist situation, you'll have a good time. My favorite part of Phuket was of course the ocean and the beach experience. It was so, it was a lot of fun to go from Bangkok, which is a city, go, go, go to that beach, you know, have a margarita lifestyle. And I can't recommend this enough, but make sure that you get into the water or put your feet in if you're too scared to swim out because that water is warm and delicious and you're gonna just be like, ah, oh, I can't believe I'm here because the sunset and the sunrise in Phuket, Thailand is beautiful. So enjoy one of those. You can either sleep in late and enjoy the sunset or wake up really early is all hell, but you know, enjoy one of those or wake up really early. Wake up really early or whatever. Enjoy your sunrise or sunset while you're in Phuket. Those are all the tips I have for when you visit Phuket, Thailand. Make sure that you visit my website and under the travel section, I have guides for all of this. So you can see details on what to do, where to stay. So if I missed anything, it's going to be at my website. So make sure you go check it out, it's all free. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you share, like, subscribe, and comment. Comment below and let me know if you have any questions on Phuket, Thailand, and I will see you next time. Stay creative.